All right, Uncle Sam FM here, and this is episode 26 of my American Football 19 series. I am currently in the Under 20s World Cup. I am managing the un, the uh, Under 20s of the United States, and we are in the semifinal of the World Cup. Very exciting. I really, honestly, didn't think that would advance this far, um, especially whenever I drew Spain in the quarters. But as if you watched the last episode, you saw what was a Intense, exciting victory um, after taking a 3-1 lead into the half. We held on for dear life and, um, yeah, walked out of the stadium a winner. And so now, now we are playing against England, the England under-20s. I'm sure they have a great team. I was looking, as you look at their squad, and I've got it set where you can see their clubs. Um, this is obviously... <laughs> These, these come from some of the best clubs, not only in England, but in the world. You've got Manchester United uh, represented, um, obviously Manchester City, Newcastle, Arsenal, Liverpool. Um, yeah, so these are, this is not, I'm anticipating a very, very challenging match. Um, I, I, I kind of, I, you can't see, again, there's no scouting. I can't see any attributes for any of the players. Um, but you can see their values, and clearly there are some very valuable players uh, on this England team. Um, you, I'm pretty sure that's at 15.2 million. Yeah, 15.25 million. I think that's the most valuable player. Um, yeah, the kid from uh, Fulham, Hopkinson, <clears throat> um, which you can't really see much. But you can look at his stats, and he is he is a starter, uh, obviously, for Fulham now. He's made 27 appearances, um, five goals. He has a 6.94 average rating. That's not, like, whatever, world-beating. But for, a, you know, a 20-year-old in the Premier League, that's that's pretty good. Um, and then you look at other guys like Thomas Pierce, the guy from Manchester United. He's not playing with their uh, senior team, but... 26 goals in their uh, under 20 division for under 23s for uh, for Manchester United so that's pretty impressive so this is going to be a um, yeah we're going to be playing against a very good team almost certainly far and away better than the squad that we're going to put on the field but that was true of Spain also and we got to win so you know we're going in expecting to come out with a victory my team <clears throat> you can see our the clubs my team's my team is um I mean, my players are playing four and, um, they're, you know, obviously most of them are, are U S squads, but you know, we've, Wilfredo plays for Schalke. Um, you've got, uh, Castellanos is playing for Borussia Dortmund's second team. Uh, you have, uh, Ningala playing for Celta. Um, and yeah, Omidiji playing with Atalanta, who I think he's even on loan from PSG. So, so I've got some guys who, you know, they're playing with some like Leipzig, you know, Colin Keefe. <clears throat> so some of my players, yeah, play for some um, high reputation clubs, but obviously nothing like what that England team has. So um, so I guess that kind of covers most everything. Maybe we can look at the roads to get here. Um, you know, I got through my group, finished second after losing to Brazil, but then beat Saudi Arabia, Spain. Um which it will, could end up being the signature victory from this tournament for us. And then um, England, under 20s, uh, they won their group, beat Trinidad 3-0, Iran, and Colombia, uh, and then beat Peru in the second round, and then walked over Scotland in the quarterfinal to get here. They are, yeah, the, the England under 20s are, is going um, to be a big challenge, so... My team, uh, we'll look real quick at who I'm starting. I would like to be starting um, Omidiji, but I just don't feel like he's fit enough. Let me go back to my squad view. Uh, Omidiji is, is, is not quite fit enough. He I most likely will get in. He's one of my most fit players on the bench. Uh, Kippy is another guy I'd like to start, but I feel like um, yeah, Lewis and Ursavas are a little more fit. Again, Kiffy will most likely feature if we need him. Um, and other kind of like Heinz Ike, I'd like to have him on the field. But again, Glenn Jacobs, slightly more fit. I'm trying to put my fittest team on, this, on the field. 
that's just I, I, whatever just kind of what I do uh, Wilfredo is back from suspension that's big because he is my best defender by far and so hopefully and he you know he is relatively fit so hopefully he'll you know, he'll be ready to go and Bach also off of suspension and he actually has has climbed his uh, fitness level up to a 90 percent which if you've been following this tournament that has been highly frustrating how unfit Bach has been it it's got to have something to do with under 20 national teams like in the game recovering from fitness I don't remember I've played with the U20s before it's been a couple of versions ago but I don't remember it being this this big of an issue um, players taking so long to recover fitness um, for example Hernandez my he started at center back against Spain and he's only at 82 percent I mean that I know it's a relatively short turnaround, but it has been like three days. <clears throat> Most with my club teams, it never takes this long. Like I never have guys play on Saturday and then are only sitting at eighty-two percent for the midweek matches. So, um, yeah, that's been kind of a frustrating thing to have to deal with. So, but without further ado, let's dive in. Oh, we could look at the other. So yeah, um, the other the other quarterfinal matches. That was something I wanted to look at. Um, so us in England, obviously, we saw those results. Brazil, uh, it took extra time, but they they knocked Russia out and advanced to the semifinal. And then also France uh, walloped Argentina three one. So that means all three teams from our that advanced out of our group made it to the semifinal. That's um, so if that's not a group of death, I don't know what is. Um, obviously, those were three. And I, and I said it before, that, that, was, that was a tough group. We knew it was going to be tough. Little did we know it was going to be that tough. Who knows how far South Africa could have gotten had uh, all four teams been able to advance from the group. But um, So that's that's an interesting little thing to sort of note there. Uh, it looks like we'll be wearing our thirds, our red, and England wearing the whites. And we'll just dive right in. I never know how to start these things, the matches, but um, yeah, it's. I'm gonna start with my st standard setup, but I am gonna drop back to um, uh, cautious uh, to start the match and see how things go from there. Um, let's see. Let's tell him to go have fun. I mean, at this point, hey, you made it this far, right? You've earned the right to just go have fun. And maybe that'll, maybe just having fun will help. Um, where is our, oh, here we go. Cautious. Okay, so yeah, there we are. USA, red, red, blue, England, white. Uh, I guess that's a navy blue and then white socks. And we are off. Drops back to Harris. And highlight over. Not as good a first highlight as our Spain match. That was, uh, we score on the first highlight. That's pretty rare for me. And England does look like they are going to be possessing here. But we do push it all the way back to the goalkeeper. And he sends it. Ooh, we get moving the ball. Lewis back to Wilfredo, who sends it long. Wilfredo! But I think he was offside. And Wilfredo's got, he's, um... He has a dangerous through ball. I don't have him set as a ball playing defender, but he kind of plays that way anyway. Uh, I'm not looking at his player traits. Maybe that's in there. Oh, England with a possession out in a dangerous spot. Ooh, headed to the keeper, Reese. Uh, I think I'm going to go balanced. Let's bring it back. Push it back up a little bit. Tried to slide tackle, did not win possession. Yeah, you can tell England is just good. <laughs> we get the corner. Uh, corner is, um, I know Spain scored one of their goals off the corner, so that's it's probably just an area where uh, U20s don't do as well. Oh, we get a foul outside the area. <laughs> And they don't show it, so I guess nothing happened. Ooh, another header to the keeper. 
Goes into Nagala, who crosses it in, but we don't have anybody there for the finish. Savas to Jacobs, who crosses, and we get a corner. Oh, I don't know what Nangala was trying to do there. All right, Castellanos up to Ursavas. Lays it to Jacobs, whose cross is blocked out for a corner, and here we go. And we just can't get a cross in. But that's probably to do with England's quality. I'm looking, and they, they're they more fit than we are. Yeah, I don't know why I, my guys just won't get fit. I mean, you see, you guys have watched. I rotate. I, I, if you're not fit, well, if there's somebody more fit than you in your position, then you're going to sit the bench. <clears throat> England on the counter. Gosling, and Gosling's hurt. Um, doesn't look like he's got a knock, so we're gonna leave him in. And that cross is blocked. I mean, we're defending pretty well. We just. So 25 minutes in, we have no goal, no score. Savas to Dengala's shot is wide. Keeper apparently wasn't even, was not afraid of that shot at all. Uh, England is, is, has been, I think, so far the better team, but it's a little more even than I would have thought. They haven't quite dominated so the way I would have expected. Ooh, that was a bad, yeah, that was bad footwork by our defender there. But I think Jacobs won the corner. Well, gave them a corner rather than giving up the goal. Ooh, header into the cane of the keeper. Looks like we've got a nice uh, fan presence behind our goalkeeper there. All right, so we're a third of the way through. No goals yet. Mm, England trying to buy one or win one here. We get a corner. Ooh, oh, that blocked that shot. Otherwise, that that was a good chance they just had there. Didn't give them a half chance though. And free kick goes wide. We only got two shots. We need to. Nice slide tackle. Lewis puts it up to nobody. Block shot. All right, looks like we're going to go into the half scoreless. Yeah, England's been the better team. Um, we have had more possession, so that's... That's good. I mean, that, and that is how we play. And it doesn't look like England has been a, a kick and chase team. So, you know, it's not like they don't want the ball. So we'll we'll um, we'll take that as a positive. Um. Okay. Now, what do I want to do? I think I am. What I've, I'm gonna I'm gonna just. I think I'm gonna concede possession a little bit because we have had possession and it's not really done anything for us. And my team is a pacey team anyway, so let's try and use that. Instead of working ball in the box, we're going to take those off. Um, I'm not going to change anything else yet. Because I, like, I feel like defensively, we've prevented them from having uh, the, you know, whatever, clear-cut chances. So, you know, defensively, we've done the job. Um, it's we're just we're not creating anything. So, let's let's give them a little more freedom and see if they can um make something happen there on the in attack. All right. And looks like we want a corner right away. Ooh, this could be <laughs> this could be a bad situation. All right, well, 
Yeah, see, again, defensively, we, you know, we did the job right there. Like, that was a potentially... And that, that's even, and we, I've said this before in the other videos from this World Cup, our back four is not that great. So the fact that we have sort of done the job in the back is, is encouraging. All right, so we survived the first five minutes of the half without giving up a goal. Oh, the free kick. Ooh. And they buy a corner. Get it out, fellas. And another quarter. I'm giving up too many corners. Okay, well, let's also do. Let's let's counter. And um, let's go cautious. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a bad. All right, so we got to. All right, so England has scored um, on the throw. Gasson makes an act player. Um, Bahus makes a nice run, and they're up 1-0. And let's be honest, it's a deserved 1-0. Uh, Santos trying to help build an attack to give the equalizer. World Cup dreams on the line here. Bach puts it in, headed over. We get the corner. So apparently England headed it over. And then Gala with the short corner gets fouled from behind. Bach back to Jacobs to Gosling. Jacobs. Ah. Uh, that was a bad giveaway right there. Put us in a bad spot. Uh, Reese picks out the corner kick out the air. And I gotta start thinking about who I want to bring in. Right, Savas is starting to fade a little bit, and he's not really done very much. So let's go ahead. I mean, we know it's this is it. It's do or die. So let's not wait around. Um, what can I do? Okay. Let's bring in Omidiji for Savas. Put him at the striker. Put, put Ndangala on the right wing and Lewis back on the left. <clears throat> and you know what? Let's, um... I don't want to take out Ndangala. Because I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, that 15 finishing is too high. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in Kippy. He's gonna be playing out of position a little bit, but these are probably my three best attacking players up front now. So, and I'm gonna have to go positive. Santos to Kalanji, Wilfredo, Casalanos. Trying to get a through ball, I guess, there. Either that or it was just a shot. I right, know. I know Bach is kind of fading a little bit, but I don't. There's not really any body that I can just. Bach is a good player. So I'm going to leave that for now. But I am going to uh, change a couple of things. Uh, and we was got that as high as we can go. So let's prevent. Let's go maximum. Extremely urgent. Kippy out to Jacobs. All right, you know what? Let's 
Let's go balls out. Here we go. So I am going to take off Bach. I'm going to bring in... Uh, yeah, I'm going to bring in another attacking player. And... I think I normally have this player um, sitting back. No, I do have him roaming. So let's let's say get further forward, right? That's got to have somebody. We got to have guys. Got to get numbers forward. We're gonna make something happen here in the last breath. We want a corner. And then Gala. Oh! Oh! <laughs> they just gave you. Oh, I, we gotta go. We gotta watch that again. I can't. Oh, they just. They gave us the equalizer. Watch. They pass the ball to our striker who is standing in an offside position, one on one with the keeper. Has a free shot on goal. Let's, uh, let's watch Ndengala here. To Gasson, who passes it. I'm pretty sure it's Gasson that does it. Passes it right here to Omadiji. Yeah, it's like, here you go. Omadiji, this is like, oh my goodness, Omadiji. This is a chance in the last 30 seconds of the match to tie England to, to probably go into extra time. And he puts it off the post. <laughs> but you know what? That's his his finishing rating is low, so I can't be. You know, that's that is what it is. So last corner probably going to come to nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So England wins. They're off to the final. We'll go to the third place match, which I hate the third place match. But you know, that's that is that's how it goes. Oh, Medici somehow only got a half chance, I guess, for that shot. That should have been a clear cut chance easily. Uh, so, you know, it's I'm disappointed. Uh, I can't feel hard done, though, because England was the better team. And now we did. I mean, you look at the stats, though. I'm, you know, I'm happy with the possession. We had 64% possession against was probably the best collection, one of the best collections of under 20 players in the world. Um, and, you know, our passing in the back was not great, but I took that off our, you know, that was... That was always going to be a challenge. Um, yeah, so, you know, disappointed, but at the same time, I, f I feel, you know, pretty good about how well we played. Um, yeah, unlucky boys. <sighs> Home of DG. Uh, I, I, I was willing to accept the result and not feel hard, you know, not be crushed by it until Omidiji had that chance that I mean it's almost like they guess on from England gift wrapped here you go here's the equalizer um maybe I guess guess on wanted to keep playing right he wasn't done he was having fun he didn't want the match to end so he was like hey let's 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 let me add about 30 minutes uh here you go Omidiji and he just couldn't put it in the goal so that's tough um well, we'll go ahead and um, we'll advance to see who we get in the third place match here. Either France or Brazil, which will be our second match against either of those teams. Uh, all right, so we'll be playing France. Um, Brazil won. So you have a Brazil-England final. That doesn't get much better than that, right? That's how, that's, you know, two of the best teams, two of the best footballing countries in the world. And then France to play the United States in the third place match. So, um, so we'll see how that goes. <sighs> tough result, tough loss, but you know, England was a better team. Um, I, I'm committed to at least doing one more cycle with the U20. So, hey, maybe in 2025, we'll, we'll get this thing done. Um, I've already kind of had a little perusal around the, uh, guys in the under 17, um, at the under 17 levels. There's some hope there, um, so hopefully I'll get a better back line than what I had this time. Um, but this is Uncle Sam FM signing off. I will be back if you want to watch the useless, pointless third place match where I will be playing against France. Um, little disappointment, but you know, hey, and uh, 
encouraging results. So we'll see you next time.